uh, Rob Satchin Feedback Ranch, I want to show you if you're trying to do icons and get a whole bunch of icons for your website, you know, one of the things that happens is if you go to like Shutterstock here, you can download these .eps or Adobe Illustrator files. And then what you can do is you can come through and you could export them. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to recolor them. So here I'm working, uh, trying to get a company set up and we do not use turquoise. So this is kind of goofy. Well, over here I have the colors for my companies all in the library. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to, instead of having this turquoise and dark turquoise, um, and if you look, each one of these are individually separated. If you're working with a .eps or an Illustrator file, they'll all be separated. Hopefully you know that by now. Um, each one of these need to be grouped. I'm going to show you how to just grab all these, export them um, in a nice way. You can do them white. You could do any color you want. But it starts out with, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the two colors. So I want, this is my, in my library, I've got this light blue. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to select them all. Actually, I don't even know if you need to select them all, but this is what I always do. Then you come up to edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this replace color. So if you go down here to edit colors, so edit and then edit colors, and then we're going to um, recolor artwork. And recolor artwork is basically going to show you the two colors that are here. So you see we've got these two turquoises and um, it shows the color that it is now. And now I want to select a new one. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to paste in my new value to that blue. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save it. So now it did the first color. Um, I'm going to click off. I'm going to select my second color in my library. I'm going to come through. And like I said, I can't remember if you have to select them all or not. Go up to Edit. Same thing. I could have done them both, but I just don't have them selected. So Recolor Artwork. And we're going to take that color and we're going to change it to... Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. Take this ugly green and we're gonna make it the other blue. So now we have a multicolored icon. So now it's gone through and changed all the icon colors so it's the two colors. Now what you'll see here is we've got a whole bunch of them. Now what we're gonna do is you'll see each one of them are grouped, which is cool, but I didn't know this. If you come through and what you'll wanna do is you go up to the window here and you go to the asset export tab and what this is going to do is give you this little window here and we can drop files in here and then export them in all sorts of ways i'm going to select every single one of these and i'm going to drop it into the asset export file and holy moly it's taking all of these it's going to chew on it a little bit <clears throat> and once it's there we're going to come down and we're going to define the export you can export as png 24 png 8 those are two transparent background PNG files with various levels of detail for file size. Um, and then we can set the scale over here. We can put a suffix and then when we go down to this detail button here, um, it'll give us some options. So first of all, the only ones that'll get exported are the ones that are selected. They are all selected right now. Now in most of my web projects, what I'm doing is I'm having them be 250 pixels. So if you came here and you hit the drop down, you could say 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x of what the original size of each is. I usually like to set the width um, so that the width and the height are kind of constrained. I just choose one of them. Then I put pixels. You could do um, different things. And then I use PNG 8 so that they're nice and small. Then you come down to this little setting tab and I'm going to tell it where I want it. And I think I'm already in. Yep. So I'm in the folder that I want to save it to. And, and then you add, add a, pr a prefix. So I'm going to say blue 250 medical metro because it's for this metro company. And I'm going to say export asset. And now what it's going to do is as soon as I hit export, it's going to start crunching away on them. And I think it did it already. It's doing it right now. So you'll see there, it is slowly cranking them all out. And it should be done pretty quick here. And boom, when I pull over to this, they're all there. Well, that's the other one that I had just done. And here they are. We've got all sorts of icons at just a nice small size 
And if you look at the file size, each one of these are two or one kilobyte, so they're perfect for web. So that's how you rework these templates from Shutterstock or in Vato Markets or whatever they are so you can get good icons for your web project. Good luck.